The market shift is in full effect. Will we experience a crash here in the Lafayette Parish real estate market? The numbers are in for October 2022. This is Robbie Bro with Robbie Bro and team at eXp Realty. And I want to jump into some of the numbers. You know, we've been seeing lots of crazy stuff going online. And depending on where you click, a lot of things appear to be doom and gloom. And while things are definitely slower than what we have been experiencing over the last two and a half years that we do have a little bit of glimmer of hope so i want you guys to stay tuned while we go and jump right on in so first off sales total number of closed residential sales down 18.9 percent we were at 274 homes sold compared to 338 homes sold this time last year again that's 18.9 percent decrease in the total number of units we're down 12.8 in year-to-date or cumulative sales so when we compare again you know i love to be able to compare to previous years we're up 22.35 percent more homes sold than this time during 2019 during our last normal year so to equate that into actual homes sold that's over 650 more sold homes compared to this time last year now if we're going in dollar volume a little bit you know it's a little bit narrower of a gap we sold 76.8 million compared to 95.5. That is a 19.59% decrease and a 4.6% decrease year to date. So we're selling fewer homes, but slightly less dollar volume. When we compare that to 2019, that's up 55%. So $360 million more than what we did in the last normal market of 2019. So also we crossed the one billion dollar market i'm sorry closed sales in all of lafayette parish from january all the way up through october's numbers we didn't pull that off until 2020. so lafayette parish we barely barely squeaked by we're in in december before we were starting to be able to catch it up until last year so things are still pretty good even though we saw a little bit of a decrease over the last couple of months now of course the leading indicators that we always like to take a look at is total number of homes that have gone off the market and total no homes that have come onto the market so we got to supply demand things that are going on so the demand or the homes coming off the market that was down a pretty significant number we we're down 38 percent in October and we we're down 20.6 year to date now while that sounds nasty the number of new homes coming on the market is down 34% in October and down 13% year to date. So why is that good news? Normally we think of negative as being down. Well, if we don't have, we have less demand, but we also have less supply or things to be able to choose from. This is still really prevalent in lower income. I say lower income, the, the moderately cheaper homes that are out there, 300 and below, it's still, if you've got a great home, we're still seeing pretty decent activity that are going on out there. And just last week, I ran into multiple offer situations in the 200 to 220 range. So there are still people competing that are out there. Is it on every property? No, but it's still running out there fairly consistently. Our average sales price is up almost 10%. We're at 285,958 compared to just over 260,000. And the number of homes, like we talked about before, that is down 28.8%. The available homes for sale in October of 2022 compared to October 2021. So fewer things are being are, are around to be able to actually choose from. So, you know, the question that I get all the time is, are we going to experience a crash? And in order for that to happen, we have to see the demand drop like we're seeing, but we also have to spot, see the supply skyrocket in order for that to be able to pop up. So if we're seeing a real big decrease in the total, total number of homes that are available for sale, that means there's fewer things to choose from, even though we have fewer buyers, we only got about a 4% spread if we're looking at October over October's numbers, a little over 6%, 6.5% uh, uh, difference year to date. So we had a decrease in 20.6 in the total number of pending, a decrease of 13% year to date of the total number of homes available for sale. So we're at you know 6.6% different differentiation. So still not a lot of things that are out there to be able to choose from. And in order for that to happen, that, that, that new home supply has to increase by double digits month after month after month after month completely opposite of what we saw in 2020 and 2021 in order for that to really be able to go and really dictate a tough time for uh for our sellers so not quite there yet i'm sorry the folks that are out there that are itching to see a crash it's not happening so 
as far as what can happen moving forward, you know, the folks that are looking around, if you think about it, the last three years, you know, we've had people that are in homes that are at 2.5, 2.8, 3%, 3.5%. 3%. Those folks aren't selling. There's no, there's no reason to be able to do so. But people will continue to buy whether rates are at 7%, 10%, 2%, 5%, and it's all going to be based on people's needs. People are going to have... Uh, job transfers, they're going to run into expanding families, they're going to run into divorce, they're going to run into, you know, bonuses or relocations. All that fun stuff is going to be something that actually causes people to move. So moving forward, uh, we're going to take a look at mortgage rates. Those dipped back down just a touch. It's probably going to trend back up over the next couple of days. We're in the upper sixes right now compared to seven and a quarter. That's due to the consumer price, consumer pricing in the, uh, um, consumer pricing index report that was showing that inflation is coming down what is inflation inflation is too many dollars going after too few products and when you have that the cost of goods is going up and we're seeing that everywhere from the price of milk to the price of houses to the price of cars to everything that's running around that we could possibly go and buy price you know all that stuff is, is related to inflation the inflation numbers were showing a positive trend so we saw a little bit of a dip on the uh, the mortgage rates, which is good. Now, when that, you know, we, we got a little bit more time to go run through before those numbers supposedly are going to start uh, coming down. Again, hang tight. We, you know, we never want to go and I'm not in the uh, predicting the future uh, business. The only thing we can go off of is what is going on today and tomorrow. But moving forward, you know, the folks that are interested in looking in, you know, you still have the opportunity to be able to move up. This Our move up buyers are in a really good position. You can sell your home for more than you could have two years ago and potentially be able to get a better price on the home that you moved up because of those interest rates. Now, the folks that are making these purchases, always you got to be thinking about make your budget based on today's rates because we can't guarantee anything further from that. So, you know, when you run that, we do, we are hearing from lots of mortgage rate experts. There's a pretty good chance that we could see rates come down not a guarantee and we've got to work work within today so you've got the ability to potentially be able to knock some of the uh knock prices down get some closing costs be able to think about some of some of these homes that you're going and taking a look at instead of having to make a rash decision like we have been over the last couple of years so if you're interested in checking out to see what your equity position happens to look like and what it looks like for you in this market you know Right now is an excellent time to be able to check that out. Of course, no obligation, free to talk to any one of us over here at Robbie Rowan Team. We're happy to be able to work with you and discuss what your needs have to look like. So give us a call, 267-4099. You can reach me on my personal cell, 337-658-5690, or shoot us a direct message. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions at all, give us a call. Thanks so much.